Hello darkness my old friend, I've come to drink with you again. Hello there, welcome back. Another Samuel Smith's. This is the Oatmeal Stout. Oh yes. One I've never had before. Got my stout glass which is still wet. So this one is Samuel Smith's old brewery, Tadcaster, the celebrated oatmeal stout. The ABV on this is 5%. It's a 550ml bottle. Ingredients, water, malted barley, cane sugar, roasted barley, yeast, hops, oatmeal and carbon dioxide. So, the, the celebrated oatmeal stout, brewed with well water, the original well at the old brewery, sunk in 1758, still in use, with the hard well water being drunk from 85 feet underground. Fermented in stone Yorkshire squares to create an almost opaque, wonderfully silky and smooth Wonderfully silky and smooth textured ale with a complex medium dry palate and bittersweet finish. Serving suggestions pizza and salad, pasta and other Italian foods, lobster with drawn butter, steak and kidney pie, plowman's lunch, dark flavourful bread, British and French cheeses, best served at about 55 Fahrenheit, 13 Celsius. What does the outside of the bottle say? 15. It's not 15. It's actually quite warm here today. It's 22 Celsius here. In the flat. I don't know what that is outside. I think it must be about 60 Fahrenheit. Okay. Let's crack it up. Lovely label as usual. It's got the foil, so I don't think it's just a it's just a plain crown. Let's see about pours. The strong pour halfway through has produced a good two and a half fingers. The quite loose foam, it's soapy, it's dying back fast. Uh, just slightly tan. It is, I can't, it's opaque, apart from a little bit of light, red light coming through at the bottom. So there's a very, very slight, subtle reddish ruby tinge. So what does it smell like? It looks absolutely beautiful. It looked very dark on the floor. That smells, it smells very sweet actually, malty, maybe a bit of licorice, chocolate I think, yeah. But it's, you know what it smells like? Have you ever had a milky bar, the white chocolate? It smells a bit like that. I mean it's years since I had one of those but... That is reminiscent of that. But maybe a bit treacle as well. Anyway, cheers my dears. Wow. Treacle. Or molasses as they say elsewhere. You want to have a spoonful of treacle? <laughs> that's, the, what, that's the taste, that's the flavour. Not only that, that's the predominant taste. It's very smooth. Pardon me. It is a bit carbonated. Not over, over carbonated, but it's quite active. But it's still lingering that. There's a very slight bitterness. It's sweet. It's medium bodied. 
I'm just try to think. It's not a cloying or quite mouth coating. I'm going in again. It's very nice. It's very, it's very roasty. It's like the aftertaste is like coffee. A slightly bitter coffee, black coffee, and then you get it's mixed in with a bit of sweetness as well. That's, that's very nice. That's very, very tasty indeed. I don't know if I could drink a lot of these because it's quite intense and uh, power strong flavours. So I wouldn't. It's not a session beer. I wouldn't say, but to accompany food. What they say is pizzas and cheeses and things like that. Absolutely spot on. Let's have a look online see what we can glean. Okay, it's called Oatmeal Stout from Samuel Smith in Tadcaster in North Yorkshire in England. It's classed as an oatmeal stout or stout oatmeal as this is. It's 5% ABV, the IBU's 32, so it's fairly dialed back, but it's there. Friends check-ins 5 and a score of 4.05, everyone else 117,000, an average score of 3.8. Uh, the details, it's mostly what's on the bottle create an almost opaque, wonderfully silky and smooth texture there with a complex medium dry palate, bittersweet finish. Yeah. The descriptors are uh, oatmeal, smooth, dark, sweet, creamy. I wonder if this is available on draft. I think it would be a totally different experience because of that carbonation that comes with bottled beers. It is, it is quite smooth. Forgot to do the temperature. It says it's 15.7 now. I don't think it is though. I think it's slightly cooler. So that's the foam again. The yeah, it would be different. As, I mean, I'm not saying it's over carbonated, but there is, a, there is a bit of carbonation there. I'm going to give this 8 out of 10, 4 out of 5. It's a very good beer. If you like stouts, you'll absolutely love this. It is... Uh, but it's quite intense. It's not a session beer, I wouldn't say. Would I drink it again? Definitely. Would I recommend it? Definitely. So it's a, it's a double thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Oh yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten. Forget that 8 out of 10 rubbish. 9 out of 10.